In this one, the members make two actions in sequence. First, they make monthly payments, then they take turns drawing on the funds. And those two have to be in parallel. So here we have this member made, and parallel to that would be took. When we have the participle instead, that's both indirect and somewhat unclear. So that doesn't really work. It disrupts the parallelism. In E, we have made, made the payments and then drew. So this is kind of odd. It's the wrong verb in the second half of the parallel. And then the end of that sentence, taking turns on the funds for home mortgages, that just makes no sense whatsoever. So that E is just a train wreck. So we're down to C and D. Both of them construct the parallelism correctly. But in D, what we have is, then they took turns, comma, they drew on the funds for home mortgages. So we have a comma, and then we have another independent clause with a noun and a verb. This is what's known as a run-on sentence, to have noun and verb, and then comma, and then another noun and verb because we need something separating independent clauses more than just a comma. We need the word and or something like this. So D is a run-on sentence. And the only one left is C. Now C is clear, it's free of grammatical errors, it is sleek, direct, and powerful. It is by far the best answer choice.